Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to this channel. So I am actually in the first ever Monitor Fest in Minoka, Illinois. Now this is actually basically almost like a family party, but you know, it is all about uh, um, getting a Monitor Lizard enthusiasts. Enthusiasts? Enthusiasts. I cannot pronounce that. But you know, everyone who loves uh, Monitor Lizards, you know, it is basically like a, like a get together. And you know, this is organized by Brian. We are here actually in his house. So you know, because of that, I am not going to share uh, the address. This is something that uh, if you ever want to come, you know, for uh, for next year, you know, you have to send him a, a message. You know, I will link the, um, the, the website and you know, obviously, you can find uh, his information there. So here uh, we're gonna look at, uh, at actually his reptiles. And you know, hopefully one day, you know, this will get a, a little bit bigger and you know, a lot more people people can come and you know, bring their own monitor lizards or maybe other reptiles. Because for what I can see, he doesn't only keep uh, monitor lizards. Now, one thing that I can say right away is that uh, he makes his own uh, setups and man, they are cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you some. Okay. All right, so there are a couple of setups that are empty and obviously I do not want to start with those. I want to show some reptiles right away. And man, look at this guy. So Ryan actually focuses a lot on laces. And man, look at this. And look at that setup. Yeah. That's a fake guy right there. The UVB is always for such a weird light and photos. Yeah. Oh no. Um, this one? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I didn't get it in big. Oh, well, they're open. Man, too bad I cannot see, and you know. I'm right now by myself, so I'm not going to open the door. Last thing that I want is, you know, to get an ass whooping and then get kicked out. But man, that's a big male right there. At least I think that it's a male. Cicado. Okay, let's check out another one. Well, you know, like back in the day, all you ever saw were wild Man, look at that one right there. So this one is really, really dark. I I bred green basses for a long time. Man, look at that. My guess is that this would be a female. Now, as I said, you know, he does. Uh, this is uh, his own personal collection. He doesn't have only monitor lizards. Man, check that out. Green tree python. So cool. It's a nice setup. A couple of other snakes. Would they appear to be California king snakes, I think? And in the garage, this is the last setup. So this is for baby laces. And there's supposed to be three in here. Man, they are hard to find. I'm gonna see if I can focus on one because I can see the head of one. Uh, no. No, no way. All right, so those were some of his reptiles. You know, those are the ones that he has in his garage. These are the small lizards. Well, you know, that big lazy, that one, that one was big. But he actually had, does have a, 
a couple more or a few more lizards that are big big and man they are so big that they basically need a small room so as you guys can see in the back so that over there that uh facility i guess it's almost the size of my house so he actually does have a few uh big big enclosures so i'm gonna go and you know show you guys you know i actually love love high humidity or tropical setups so looking at this man this is I, I, you know, I, I actually have to say this might be my favorite one. I love seeing live plants. You know, with monitor lizards, it's almost impossible to keep, you know, live plants. So that's why in here, he does have green tree monitors. So there is one, and obviously, there is another one, and actually right in front of us. So I don't know if you guys were able to see it before, but look at that. I was looking in here for like 5 to 10 minutes and I was not able to see him until he blinked. Man, check that out. On to the next one. Look at the size of this enclosure. I am close to 6 feet tall and this thing has to be, I don't know, around about 8 tall. It obviously has to be really tall because here he does have a big, big lazy. Check that out. And on to the next one. Another really, really big set of plants. You know, this is actually exactly what I wish I could have in, in my basement. Now, my basement is basically my size, so there's no way. But man, look at that. So much height, so many climb opportunities, so much space for one lizard. But you know, as I said, it has to be a lot of space because man, these lizards are really, really big. All right, second to last enclosure. You know, in this one I can actually uh, show you uh, a little bit of the detail on how to make this setup. You guys can see uh, he's uh, usually, he's using mostly uh, Universal Rocks background. So, you know, foam in the back. And this is uh, just nailed to, to, to the wall. But man, check that out. And the last enclosure in here, it is this super gigantic setup. Look at that, man, this is a... Uh, this right here, this is a room for real. Look at that. Man, I don't even know how tall that thing is. 10, 12 feet tall, probably. My guess is this is gonna be for a, for a pair. Because this is really, really, really big. Man, just imagine if if he gets uh, maybe some some crack monitors. Man, this, this would be really cool for maybe one since uh, they are the longest monitors. But hopefully next year we can see all of this done, and you know obviously a monitor lizard in there. All right, so that was basically his collection you know this is this is more of a of a brian's collection video than uh, than monitor fest but you know it is called monitor fest so you know uh as i said you know this is obviously the first one it is it is more like a like a get together than an actual fest but you know it is still always awesome to see uh, somebody's collection and you know like i said you know this is the first one so maybe next year you know this is gonna be much bigger and you know hopefully uh, we can get uh, a lot more people to to come here and you know obviously uh get to to meet each other because uh, you know this is basically uh what it's all about it is not just about you know selling animals you know if uh, you guys are interested in coming as i said you know for next year i will put uh you know all the information in the video description and well i'm gonna go ahead and uh end this video right here because i'm gonna go do some eating and drinking so thank you so much for watching 
If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and please subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you next week.